getting started in Blender, go Edit Preferences, and you're going to make sure the plugin Loop Tools is turned on. It is provided by Blender. You just have to make sure you check it, you check it so it is on. All right, and then after that, Shift A, add a curve, add a bezier, switch to Edit Mode, delete the vertices, and then click on Draw. Hit one, and you're gonna draw a sort of squiggly abstract circle. Hit three to go to the side view. Repeat the process. Hit seven to go to the top and repeat the process. All right, then go up here and change to object mode. Then click object, convert to mesh. Once you've converted it to a mesh, switch back to edit mode, holding down alt, click on one of the loops, and then holding down shift and alt, click on the other loop. Once you have both loops selected, right click, loop tools, bridge. The lower left hand corner, you can mess with the twists or the segments. And put the segments at four and put the twists at 80. What you're going to want to do now is holding down alt, select the other loop you have it selected, and then select one of the other loops you created, holding shift and alt, and then repeat that by right clicking, loop tools, bridge, and then just mess with the twist until you get something how you want. Right now that we have something sort of basic like this, click object and change it to, or change it from edit mode to object mode. Add a subdivision surface, level of two. Right click and we're gonna shade smooth this. And this is where the whole effect starts to happen. Shift A and we're just gonna add a empty plane access in the middle. Make sure that it is in the middle of your object so you get the best effect. After you have that selected, go to your object and we're gonna add a simple deform with the origin set at the empty, set it to Z, and then put it to 360 degrees. So you can already see we're sort of getting the effect. How to make this effect cooler and accentuate it is you just duplicate this simple to form a bunch, and you mess with it on the X and the Y, and you can change the percentages and the amount of twists, and just keep duplicating it around. You can mess with the modes too. Put it on taper and get that effect. Bend is kind of cool. Twist is what we were already on. Stretch stretches it really far. I like bend towards the end. And then the only important thing is to make it look good, just put a subdivision surface at the end. And that is how you achieve this sort of look in Blender. I will be providing some references now showing you how you can uh, do this with really any mesh as long as you apply simple to form with an empty in the middle and how you can also create some pretty interesting artwork with this. Here's a couple examples of some renders I did. So I hope you guys learned something. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully this concept is easy to grasp. It's very simple. The power of simple deforms is insane, and I feel like more people need to know about it. Uh, this was Logan. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day, and go make some art.